Alrighty, it's good to be back. Haven't made a video for a little while. You hear the rooster, it's time to get started. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the old Evan Root Fisherman that I'd done a couple years ago. Um, they tell me that the person who was using it just uh, said that he was just using it and all of a sudden it quit and he didn't know why. I told him, uh, bring it over, let me take a look at it. He told me I'd have to pick it up from where it was at if I could. So I took my trailer and if you look at how I picked it up, check out the clip right here. I think you're going to pull it clear to the house. Yeah, I should have took it on to the house. See, you can see that uh, obviously this has had a hard life. So, just quit. Okay, that's probably what everybody says. No matter how it happened, it just quit. But anyhow, let's take a look at it today. And uh, see what we can do with it. What we're going to do is we're going to see if it's got... Uh, I'm not even going to try to start it. We're going to see if it's got good spark, getting fuel and all that. You know, it always kind of uh, amazes me when people will do that. Uh, you know, they can't get it going, they can't get it going, and they'll pull on it, pull on it down to the boat ramp. And they're finally starting to think, oh great, we're going to have a wonderful day. Most likely not. But anyhow, let's see what's going on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull these plug wires off and uh, see what we can do. Pull out the plugs. And it looks pretty dry. See what the bottom line looks like. Don't look bad. Let's see if we got any spark. Let's give it a crank with the drill here a little bit. Here's the bottom one. It's got spark. So, okay, let's do the top one. Here's, here's the top one. Let's see if it's got spark. Not much. Very, very weak. All right, well, you can see the top cylinder is very weak to no spark. The bottom cylinder, I mean, it's it's sparking, but it ain't arcing like uh, as strong as it could be. So what we're going to do here is we'll go ahead and put a new set of points, condenser and everything in there, and recheck the spark and so, you know, that's how I troubleshoot mine. We're going to start out with spark, make sure it's got spark, then, you know, fuel or compression and fuel. Seeing how I just quit, I'm going to be honest with you, I put those aftermarket points in the top. I didn't like the way they were when I got them, but the back order was on the OEMs. I do have my OEMs in now. So, let's go ahead and put a new set of points, condenser, everything in there, and then let's try our spark again, and then we can roll that part out. All right, let's go ahead and run a compression test on this just to see if anything crazy's happened there. For compression, we're on the top cylinder. Okay, top cylinder looks to be about uh, 80, 84, I'm going to guess. 84. Let's go ahead and do the bottom cylinder. Uh, about uh, 
I would say 94, 95 bottom. And it should run. I can see a little higher, but... Okay, we'll go ahead and screw these plugs back in here. Just keep the crap out of the cylinders while we're checking the points out. Alrighty. This flywheel is so small compared to what I usually work on that... Uh, There we go. I don't know if you can see that right there. Them points are so far crooked they're lucky if uh, they're about a third of the way off of the meeting each other on the contacts let's see what they look like when we turn them on the high side and there is open We'll have to get the gauge to see how they look. Right here, they're going to come open right there. Those are those aftermarket points. I never, compared to the OEMs, those were, uh, did not look good. So, let's go ahead and get our OEM points and we'll go ahead and get them in here. And we'll see how this does. First, we'll take the wire off. Jeez. Oh, somebody got to, must have thought they needed to be tight, tight. Alright, let's take this little clip off. See if we can get in there. You know I don't want that to fly away. There it is. Uh, maybe. Oh, they're caught under there. I remember that from the last time I did this. They get caught up under that. There we go. There. There's that. Sheesh. I see. I need to move the condenser out of the way. There we go. Now we can get those out. What a job. See, those points are barely, I don't know if you can see that, but they're barely burnt. I mean, it's, but you can see they're off to, way off to one side. OEM points there, it's, uh, you can see that's uh, part number 580148. And that's the uh, Henry Johnson.
we go. Which goes right there. Here that is. Okay. And we're going to put these two wires here, like so. I think I'll put the, my condenser wire on the inside. We want to be careful when we tighten this stuff up that we don't distort them, them points or anything like that. We don't want to bend nothing. Okay, tighten it. Okay. All right, now we gotta set the gap. First of all, let's get it on the high side. And you can see where it says top right there. Right there, it should be open. Now, you know, they make a special tool to make sure the timing, everything is all perfectly right. But it's, uh, if you don't have the tool, it's, uh, and they're brand new points, you set them at 20, uh, 22 thousandths or uh, 0.55 millimeter. So let's, uh, Let's see if we can uh, open them up to uh, 0 0.55 millimeter. Right about right there. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. After we run it some, we'll reset them once some points set in a little bit. Because you know it's. Because once that wears a little bit, it'll. But uh, let's go ahead and spin it a couple times and pull it back up and see if it's still a 55 or a 55 millimeter or 22 thousandths. Okay. Let's see what we got. It's a little, it's a little big. That just is ever so slightly. Okay, let's see. 
It feels good. I turned around a couple times to see what it looks like. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm good with that. Alright, I won't bore you. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then uh, I'll get back with you. Now I did notice that uh, it looked like there was a lot of oil around these, on these points, around them, everything. I'm wondering if this top seal is trying to leak or something. I snug it a little bit so it doesn't try to go back. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave it at that. Alright. Let's put the firewall back on and see what kind of spark we got. Alrighty, got a new set of spark plugs, everything, so uh, let's just see what it does here. Okay. It's running again. Let me show you something I found on this while we were uh, working on it. Okay, this piece goes bolts on right here, and that goes up to the fuel pump like that. Um, I did notice that when I tried to clip my wire, my wire, yeah, when I tried to clip the fuel line on here, it wouldn't latch on here, and I kept trying. It just would not latch. So what I done is I just took and uh, took my fuel line and I pinched it off. I cut it. I took this off. I run the fuel line all the way up through and I put it directly to the pump. That way we eliminate the possibility of sucking air here. And I'm sure it was by the looks of this. So, and you can see where it's kind of wet with fuel around there. So it's been leaking. So right now I'm just running direct until I, I might have another one of these laying around. If not, I'll, I'll get one. Um, also, like I said, I just put this clamp on there for now. I wanted to show you a few other issues with this motor. I did notice right back here with the, uh, um, with the adjustment, this is kind of sloppy. He, so in the last few years, he must have a, they must have been adjusting this a lot. Normally, once you get this pretty much set, you don't have to fool with it that much. If you wait till it warms up good, it, it usually will run. But beside the point, and then I'll show you on the other side. Hang on. OK, 
Okay, over on this side, I see this gear is about wore out here. And uh, so, I mean, when you pull it, it's, it's not catching. And I see this is moving. And uh, somebody else had asked me about this. And let me get this around where you can see. Okay, this bolt right here is wallered out. So it must have either came loose or something. And so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to see if I can't re-tap this at a quarter 20, which would probably be the next size up. So, and we'll, uh, we'll take and I'll show you that. But we'll get this gear and we're going to re-tap that hole. And, you know, this here, you see it. Little time, little patience. They're not hard to fix. I mean, it ain't bad at all. And just remember, if it doesn't run good at home, I doubt that you're going to get it down to the lake and it's going to be so happy that it's going to run good there. So, anyhow, make sure it's right before you leave and you'll have a great day. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and stay well.